Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Alexis, aka Skins Alex. And today we're doing a vlog. Why are my high beams on? I'm doing a vlog with you guys. Um, me and Pena, this is Pena's idea, decided to go get Yanni Steens. Um, I'm kind of ignorant to what exactly it is. I'm gonna be able to give you guys a little more information later. Um, basically, it's a steam for your vagina. I read about it a little bit and it looks like a good little fun activity to do. It's snowing. If you follow me on Instagram, future please, not right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I just came back from vacation. I was in Puerto Rico, it was 80 degrees. I come back to Pittsburgh, it's fucking snow everywhere. It's cold, it's nasty, it's ugly. So I think it's a perfect day for like a self-care, like little day. Maybe we can get some food afterward, you know. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, all about the Yanni Steams and the experience. Cause it seems like really cute. So that's what we're gonna do. And yeah. <laughs> so let's go, come with me. Come with me to come have some fun and get a new vagina. Why am I always doing something that has to do with my vagina? If you haven't watched my Vijay Show video, go watch that. Cause that was the first experience I had with like steam on my vagina. And it was amazing. It was life changing. So I'm sure um, this Yanni steam is gonna be kind of like a vajayshul, but it's more like having to do with the inside of your vagina. The vajayshul was just kind of the outside area, but it was life changing. So I know this is probably gonna be life changing. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. I need gas and I'm running late. <laughs> the devil, the devil. Boys and girls, next time you need gas, this is a life hack. Next time you need gas, get gas like if you need gas at night and you have something to do in the morning get gas because you're gonna be running late the next day and you're gonna forget you need gas and you're gonna be even running more late because you got stopping your gas or you're gonna be on the side of the road somewhere that's one of my biggest fears to be like stranded on the side of the road somewhere because you know of my laziness but anyway let me stop somewhere and get some motherfucking gas okay so I just pulled up I think ping is already here So we get to pick which ones we want to put on. I don't know, I just like this one, it's cute. This plain one here. Oh, that one's pretty pin. So she put us like behind a curtain and we're sitting on these pots and the steam is coming up into, you know, our yonis. It feels really good to me. Piggy said it's kind of uncomfortable for her. But she said it's too hot, <laughs> but I think it's amazing. She just said like a little prayer thing. It was very spiritual. I love it. Look at Pena. <laughs> about to show y'all Pena. <laughs> hey, Pen. Look at how uncomfortable she looks. <laughs> and she's gonna bring us some tea because tea comes with the service and I'm relaxed. She brought us Pussy Power Tea has honey in it it's very refreshing it tastes very herbal i like it but is it gonna give me like pussy power so we just got done with our yanni steams that was amazing it was so calming we both have new vaginas now we learned a lot about the importance of steaming your vagina after your menstrual cycle, after you've had a baby, you know, if you're having a lot of yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis. It's just always important for us ladies to understand vaginal health and how important it is. And it was really just a cool experience. Like the whole vibe was so cool. Like she was very like um, spiritual and she said like a little prayer for us and did sage and it was just really cool. But now we're about to eat some food um we're going to ocean treasures 
I never been here, but I love crab legs and shrimp. And it comes like in those little bags. And I've been wanting some super bad, like ever since um ever since I had juicy crab in Atlanta, I've been on this whole crab legs, shrimp, corn, that whole shebang. I need all that. So that's where we're at now. Where's she at? Oh, yeah, let's go. Hopefully it's not busy because it's Saturday night and niggas love crab legs. Y'all, I don't know what the hell to get. All I want is crab legs, sausage, corn, shrimp. I don't want mussels, I don't want none of that. Y'all haven't even seen Penny today, really. Hey, Penny She brought me to this spot. Um, she said after the fact that <laughs> there's been instances where there was a roach in someone's bag. Someone's, I'm gonna say out loud because what? But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pray over my bag. I'm gonna dissect it and then I'm gonna just indulge. Feel the vibes. So, yeah, the lady that did our steam told us to come and feel the vibes first. If we don't feel that it's good, then leave. But I'm feeling it. Just more tequila shots in our food and then we're gonna eat. Then you have something to do later. So I'm just gonna go home and edit this video. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, how do I put this on me? Like a babe, honey. But where am I talking to? Tequila sunrise that tastes just like Kool Aid. The best Kool Aid ever. <laughs> Hold on, let me show y'all this food. This season's just right though. It's good. Yeah, just how I seeds. like it, honey. Get all the seeds in there. I should have added extra corn. Only one oh, extra corn. corn? Yeah, they come with one corn. That is stingy as hell. One? Yeah. Pilo <laughs> <laughs> One corn, bitch? Really? <laughs> so I need like three corns. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go in. Don't you know, just last year I was talking shit about crab legs. I was like, I don't know why people love crab legs so much. And then it wasn't until I went to Atlanta and I had that juicy crab and it cracked my skull right open, like B was saying. It's just not strong enough, but no, I love it. I'm an alky, but she's perfect for her. It's fine. Add another shot for her. No. Y'all like eggs? I've never had an egg. Leave a comment before. down below. You never had an egg? Me neither. That's but why I like. When I had it my first time, I like hard boiled eggs, but I just don't know if it goes with crab legs. like seafood spot that we have in Pittsburgh that has like crab legs and shit in a bag other than what's that other spot down Station Square Joe's Crab Shack <laughs> I went to Joe's Crab Shack like a few months ago and this shit was like so not good can y'all still see me like this yeah y'all can still see me I went to Joe's Crab Shack this shit was mad unseasoned mad it was just whack as fuck but this Ocean Treasures little John it wasn't bad at all, so I'll be back. And now, boys and girls, what do you do? What would you, what's an activity that you love to do after a day of 
spending money and pampering yourself, eating. We got we ate, we had yawny steams. Now, like, what can you think of that's like the cherry on the sundae? What is it? What is it? Because I'm sure me and you, we can relate. Because everyone can fucking relate to this. I'm going to a store. Think of a store that you go to and you love. You find everything you need, you find shit that you don't need, that you find out you need. It's not Amazon, y'all know I love Amazon, but. Bitch, we're going to Target! <laughs> I can't wait to go to Target. No, I have a few things to pick up. Um, I wanna get this rose water, this Heritage Rose Water Facial Toner. I tried to get that shit online on Amazon, of course, and it said it wasn't gonna get here until the end of February. If you think I'm waiting until the end of February to get my damn facial toner, the devil is alive. So um, that's where I'm gonna go. I have to go all the way across town. So I came here for Facial Toner by Heritage, and I seen online they had it. You know it would really piss me off if it was stocked online and not in the store. I would really want to fight someone because I drove all the way here. <laughs> so it better fucking be here. Where would it be at, dude? I need to ask someone. I need to ask someone because St. Ives. Oh, shit. If they don't have it, I'm just going to fucking knock everything off the shelves at this point let me just ask someone i hate asking people because i feel like i can find it on my own Ooh, face masks so guess what y'all i just bought a new uh, refrigerator for my skincare and i'm gonna fill it with all type of masks and eye creams and stuff like that and target has all these face masks so which one should I pick? This one, Ooh, relaxing lavender mud mask. That's pretty cool, they're all $2, so I can get like a few of them. Cherry and apricot. Ooh, ultra hydrating. What does that say? Birch, I thought it said bitch leaf. <laughs> Birch leaf. I'm gonna get ultra hydrating. And then what else should I get? Nourishing. I'm gonna get the nourishing coconut cream mask. Have you guys ever tried these masks before? You can't go wrong with a good mask. And deep cleansing bamboo charcoal black sheet mask. Peel off mask. I heard peel off mask were shit. Don't use them. <laughs> or detoxif detoxifying or deep cleansing. Hmm. Detoxify. I'm gonna try detoxify. These are by K Bella. I'm gonna give a review and see if these were good or not. Do you guys work here? Do you work here? Do you guys have heritage facial toner? Heritage yes. store? Um, the bigger bottles are, I don't know if we have the little bottles in there. Uh huh. They have it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you! Found it! Rose water facial toner. I heard this was the shit. Grab a bottle. How much is it? Eleven dollars. Honest. Oh, I heard this honest products was good too. Oh, look more face masks. And this is how I get out of control because they have more face masks over here. Twenty four thirty three. Not bad. Target run was successful. Spent $25. When's the last time you've been to Target and you spent $25, bitch? <laughs> so proud of myself. I got some new masks. I'll show you the masks before I drove off. I got five new masks. Five new masks. I can't wait to go home and play with those. And some facial toner because honey, my skin under this makeup has been in shambles. Shambles! Shambles, I swear to you guys, like I've never seen my skin as bad as my skin has been acting. So I'm just trying to like 
something's gotta give like something has to work i heard that toner was really good so i'm gonna throw away my witch hazel toner try a new toner try a new cleanser try a new everything if i have to do a chemical peel on my skin to get my skin back to where my skin used to be then i will literally do whatever i can i will spend whatever i'll do whatever i'm gonna go get a facial whatever i need to do but that's what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go home um play with my face mask um steam probably cleanse my face steam my face it's saturday night like sometimes i be feeling like a fucking loser because any other 23 year old on a saturday night is going out with their friends they're going to the club they're getting drinks guess what i'm excited to go home and steam my face like a freaking grandma and i just i don't see any issue in that like but i just was on vacation like i literally was just out and about so let me go relax but you're just not gonna stop are you okay that's cool oh one more stop i need some wine how am i gonna have a saturday night to myself with no wine what am i gonna drink like water i'm gonna go to wine and spirits and get me a nice big fat bottle of wine and probably drink the whole bottle to myself because <laughs> that's just how i'm feeling i don't know but okay, I'm gonna grab some wine, head home and call it a night, guys. It's 9.15 at night and I am headed right home. And I can't complain, like I just want my bed anyway. I can dig it Saturday night. I wish I had a man in Pittsburgh. I don't have no Pittsburgh boyfriend. I don't have no men in Pittsburgh to wine and dine me. Pittsburgh men suck. Oh my god, I want to tell you, these men are like trash. I'm gonna try dating white guys. Have you guys ever dated a white guy? That's all we have here in Pittsburgh, so I think I just want to switch on over to the white chocolate aspect of things and see how they treat me because these these black men in Pittsburgh already like just they have the good ones, the good quality ones already have like a family, kids are already established with their you know relationships and things which is not a problem like we're in our 20s 23 24 25 26 that's what you should start doing but i am not done dating like i haven't even began dating yet and there's no option so actually the lady at the um the place that we just got our yanni steam she was telling me in pina like these men in pittsburgh like y'all gonna have to start dating outside of your race you're gonna have to start dating outside of your comfort zone she was telling me how she was telling me opinion how she had this african guy she's been with this african guy not african because we're all from africa this nigerian man and it has changed her life and i've always wanted to try me a nice Nigerian, Ghanaian, is that how you say it? Ghanaian man. I'm trying to be an African man, a nice Italian daddy. Shoot, I'm not gonna subject myself to, you know, just black men. I wanna date outside my race, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go on a few blind dates. I feel like that would be a good YouTube video too. Like go on a date with like an Indian man, then go on a date with an Italian man, then go on a date with like a Nigerian man and see you know who is the best just dating i'm not fucking these guys <laughs> just dating but i feel like that's a really really good thing to like just get out of my comfort zone i've only ever dated black men i want to date like outside of my race i think that's really cool to do i mean people do it all the time i feel like and did you know black women are the least likely to date outside of their race of all people like why do we subject ourselves to a box there's so many cultures so many races so many people out here like that we need to tap into and i'm gonna tap into and i'm gonna give you guys the update because it's men out here honey it is men that will love you i can't wait okay let me grab this wine i'm not gonna vlog in the wine store um because i just feel like that's a lot of attention so i'll be back in like five hey y'all so i'm back from wine and spirits i want to show you guys the wine i got i'm so excited so excited to get fucked up tonight by myself with wine it's called stella rosa ruby rose grapefruit so good i wish i could share five percent there's five percent alcohol in this i thought this was like 16 percent alcohol five percent alcohol bro that just killed my whole vibe i literally thought it was like 10 percent alcohol 
talking about strong. If this is not strong, motherfucker, I might as well just went to Walmart and got me a mocked apple juice. I'm so annoyed because I thought it was way, I thought it was more than that. I thought it was more alcohol than that. Shit. I'm gonna have to drink the whole damn bottle to get a buzz. Let me take my butt home because I just am so disappointed in myself for not reading the label. I could go back in, but I'm way too, baby, baby, what are you doing? I could just go, you ain't got no skills. I would've whipped that little ass car right in that parking spot. Everything went downhill ever since I read that label with 5% fucking alcohol in it. I mean like, ugh, I might as well just goddamn stomp some grapes myself and then just drink the juice. Like, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't get why they make a 5%. But then again, everyone's not like me. You know, they don't wanna feel buzzed after one glass but I mean what are we drinking wine for you know I'm just gonna stop complaining I'm just, I'm just gonna stop complaining you know I'm just gonna go home do my little face mask steam have some wine watch some Netflix I don't know what I'm gonna watch on Netflix I don't know we'll figure that out